On the last episode, we created a simple web server out of the Intel Edison. This time, we're going to be using JavaScript in order to make a smartphone web app that interacts with that server in order to turn on and off an LED. In this, we're going to be writing two different programs. The first is another simple web app that runs on the Edison, and it listens for a toggle command from the network. When it sees it, it toggles an LED. The second is a smartphone application we're going to be writing known as a web app. And this asks for the Edison's IP address as well as its port number. When entered, it connects to the Edison and then presents the user with a toggle button. When that button is pushed, it sends the toggle command across the network to the Edison. Web apps are great. They're quick and easy programs, we can write them in JavaScript, and they run on most major phone operating systems. For the hardware for this project, we're going to be using the same circuit as the previous episode. Attach an LED to a transistor, and this is all controlled by GP12 on the Edison's GPIO block. To start, we'll need to create a project specifically for the Edison. Start the XDK, and then Internet of Things Embedded Application, select Blank Template. Name it something unique, such as XDK underscore LED toggle, and click Create. First, go to package.json. Under Dependencies, add socket.io, in quotes, colon, 1.4.5, also in quotes. This will cause socket.io package to be automatically downloaded when we go to upload the code to the Edison. We'll need socket.io to send data from our browser to the Edison. Then we'll write the main program, so go to main.js. Once again, there's a good bit of code here, so there's a link to the complete code in the description below. First, we'll need to load in the libraries. We'll use libmraa, http, and socket.io. We'll set the port to 4242 again. Set the LED pin to GP12 and set it to output. Then we'll need a global LED state variable. Next, we want to define a callback for our server. This will print some text when the client connects. It also defines another callback, such that when the message toggle is received over socket.io, it actually toggles the LED. And then we'll want to add a note to the console every time the server is started. File save all. You want to connect to your Edison, upload the code, and run it. When you run it, you should see a server listening message. Let's leave it running for now while we make our web app. Back in the XDK, select New Project, go to Blank Template and Standard HTML5. Give it another name. I'll call mine XDK underscore LED app. We'll need to install socket.io. Make a lib directory under www and make a socket.io directory under lib. Go to github.com slash socket.io slash socket.io dash client and download the zip. Unzip that and copy socket.io.js to your project folder www.libsocket.io. Back in the XDK, go to index.html, find where it says hello Intel XDK, delete that line and replace it with the following. We'll create some HTML. In the first division, we'll have two input fields, one for IP address and another for the port number. Under that, we'll put a connect button that calls the connect function in our JavaScript. Then add a toggle button that calls the toggle function when pressed. Note that this button is not displayed by default. Then we'll need to load our JavaScript. The first one is socket.io, and we'll also want to load our custom JavaScript, which is located in app.js. Save that and go to app.js. We'll want to replace everything in there with our own code. First, we'll want to create a global variable socket as a member of window. Then we'll write our function for connect. First, we'll get the IP address and port number from the input fields. Have socket.io connect to the server at the IP address and port. Next, we'll want to define a callback that disconnects and hides the toggle button on error and another callback that shows the toggle button on a successful connection. Finally, we'll write the toggle function that sends the toggle command with socket.io. Save all those files, and then in the XDK, go to the Test tab and click Push Files. Make sure your cell phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the Edison. Download App Preview from the Apple Store or Google Play. Sign in with your Intel developer account and go to the Server Apps tab. Find the name of the app that we just made, click on it, and then click Launch. Enter in the IP address of the Edison, and also enter port 4242. Click connect and the toggle button should show up on a successful connection. Press the toggle button to switch the LED on and off. You can also use a three finger tap to exit the program. To recap what we did, we created a simple web server for the Edison, but this time we're not serving up any pages. Instead, we created another application for our smartphone. 
This presents the user with a simple button. When that button is pushed, it uses socket.io to send a message to the Edison, and when the Edison receives it, it switches an LED. This might seem a little convoluted, but it could change the way we think about how we interact with our devices. For example, we could have the Edison connect to our smart TV or our sound system or the lights in our house, and we could host up a web page or use a smartphone application to connect to the Edison and control these other devices in our home using a smartphone application. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.